Hi everyone, I just recently just got in my water cooling kit. Uh, I got it from a couple different places. I got the RX240 water cooling kit that comes with the red, the water block, and tubing. And I got two Yaitloon 120 millimeter fans, uh, some uh, five feet of red tubing, because I'm not going to use the tubing inside the RX, just because I don't think it's up to par. Uh, I got the EK high performance water cooling block. It's actually a special edition with um, red acrylic on the top. I'll open this first since it's the most interesting. I like the case. It's really cool. It's actually really heavy. <clears throat> you got your, your jet plate right here. Uh, spring. Uh, screws for mounting. Uh, you got more screws and springs. Allen key. Pretty sure you're not going to need that. Actually, you probably will. Instruction manual. Two sided. Coolio. Mounting bracket. And the block. Wow, this is a really big block. You get some thermal compound. I'll be using my own. More mountain brackets. I think this is the back, the back plate. Maybe the front or the back, whatever. Um, yeah, this one's the back plate. And this one goes on front. Here's the block. Very nice. Very nice. Here you go. Big block. It's got a nice red acrylic. You can kind of see through it. Holes on the side for red LEDs. I haven't gotten my red LEDs in yet. I'm waiting for those to come in, but it's going to glow red. And let's look underneath here. Very shiny. Very, very shiny. <laughs> Let me put all that back in. Move that aside. I got my half inch uh, outer diameter barbs for my water block. Got this tool. This is the coolest tool you'll ever use. It's a mechanical screwdriver. I picked it up for $12. It's actually really cool. It's got a precision bits on it. There's, it comes with extra bits, like a couple Torx um, uh, star flathead. Really cool. Runs on AA batteries, or AAAs, I mean. Next, we have our fan controller for our Yate Loons. Since we're not going to be using the fans that come with the RX240, we need to use a separate fan controller. This is a three and a half inch drive bay display controller. Really cool. It's got thermometers on it, as seen here. Four pin Molex. And I believe they can be hooked up to the motherboard for variable adjustments. And it's a full color LCD screen. Very nice. Clicky clicky. Next. They're already unboxed. <laughs> Eight loons. Really good, really, really cheap, really good fans. They blow very hard and they're like three bucks a piece. Red tubing. I went with the red tubing just because I like the red and also because this tube doesn't kink as easy. And you can kind of tell when you're bending around corners. I'll show you in the with the other tubes that come in the kit, it kind of kinks a lot easier. So that's why I went with that. Lastly, the kit itself.
and there's a box within a box. Yo, dog, I heard you like boxes. <laughs> Screw it. Here's the tubing it comes with. Just clear tubing. Oh, they put a little bow tie in. Yeah, this stuff kinks very easily. I'm not going to use that. Fans it comes with. Access PC fans. I'm not going to use those. They don't blow hard enough. Mount uh, barbs and fasteners. And this is really cool. I'm glad that came with this. Came with an adapter for your power supply unit so you can jump start it. So you don't have to hook it up to a motherboard. Really cool. More thermal compound. Bracket for the included water block that I'm not going to use. Grates for your fans. This would be the pump reservoir. Allen wrench again. Screw. <clears throat> LED on a four pin Molex. And here we go. Very nice. It's really decent sized. Another four, four pin Molex. This, or, let's see, which is, okay, here you go. Yes, this would be the outtake. Yeah, outtake goes back into here. Intake is right here. Cool. Pretty sure it comes with plates. Yes, it comes with face plates to put in your drive bay. Black, silver, and it just goes on there like so. So you can see your water level and wherever the hell you put that LED. Here's your dual 120 millimeter rad. Warning, please make sure you use the correct length screws when mounting, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Tickets for idiots. Something fell out. Oh yeah, here you go. More screws. There you go, here's the rad. It's very thick. Very good heat dissipation. And the included water block. I'll probably end up selling it. Get some of my money back. Because I'll be using the extra one, but I'll show it to you anyways. Fits the uh, 775 1366 and 1156 socket types. Instruction manual for putting it on. It's the block itself. Notice it doesn't actually have a uh, sticker on the uh, conductive piece. Well, oh, whatever. Don't care. And underneath. Just more, more thermal paste again. Your screws, screws, plates, all that jazz. And I think that is it. So we're gonna have a lot of fun, and uh, I'm gonna be installing this onto my Thermaltake Level 10 GT case. Everyone, tune in next time. <laughs>